Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to model a chair like this. I got a reference for this chair online when I searched for organic chair. All right. So we are going to model this chair and I am going to walk through the process of how you can create a chair like this. So let us save this one first. Organic chair. Call it. Okay. All right. So file new. General. All right. So I'll go to modeling. Face. Select the top face. Delete key on the keyboard. Delete the face. Select this one, delete face, right? So you get this. Now, if you look at the chair, the back is higher and then the hand is short, all right? So what we will do is go to segments, select these segments, right click, subdivide, all right? So we get this face, delete faces. Like this face, delete faces. All right, so we get this part. We need an opening here. So to create that opening, I'll select this face and we're going to use the inset face tool. All right. Now we need the hand part which is this area okay and then oh i forgot to delete the faces so we got that opening there all right now when we model this this is symmetrical so we need to delete half of the model so i'll again go to edges select the middle edges right click subdivide okay Select the vertices, select the right vertices, delete vertices. So now you have half the chair. This part is round. You can see that that is round. Okay. So we need one segment here. So I'll select this, right click, subdivide. So you get one line there. This is rounded off so you can select this vertex this vertex can come down like that All right now our chair you can see is rounded off so you can select this edge and move it inside Okay. Then we'll select these two. E to extrude, right click. So we'll extrude the hand. Then we will scale it in to make it round. The back is rounded off again. Select the vertex. Like this vertex, move it inside. All right, so we get this roundedness, this roundedness. In the front, it is little rounded as well. So I'll select this vertex, move it out a little bit. Okay. This looks straight. This is round. Now the chair will have a little bit of curvature at the bottom. So you can select this bottom part and we don't want roundness. Let's keep that one. Only select this one and move it down a little bit. Okay. Now this is curved also. So these points 
on the middle will go back okay so these are the main things for the chair I think everything else is fine all right so the other thing is this is bent at an angle and this is bent down at an angle so let us do that select these points okay and these will be rotated in this direction we will actually select the whole thing and rotate it this way select all these only the bottom ones the bottom ones these and this one also shift rotate there ok so it is slanting this way slanting this way that's about it we will add good modifier panel and we will add a mirror modifier we have a mirror in y axis Then we'll add a solidify modifier. Okay, even thickness, high quality. Thickness can be up or down. Okay. That's the thickness of the chair. And then we'll add subdivision. Okay. So subdivision to object shade smooth and that's what we get now you can see that this is quite steep not so rounded ours is quite rounded so we can add some detail there okay maybe the back is more rounded can see this profile here we are not getting it so profound here so we can work on that so I'll turn this off you can select this go to the object properties viewport display turn wireframe okay so you can see the points go to modeling and we need one segment here so we we'll add a segment okay and then we will see how that that will give that flatness there okay we can decide where we want that segment to be okay not too far that is done then we need to <coughs> fix this back profile so we, I think it can get closed vertex maybe if we can select this middle vertices and move it back oh, we already added those this one so we'll have to now work with that curve then we can select these vertices when the 
front. And then we can turn this on, and then now you get more profound. Okay, that's about it. So our chair part is done. We can get rid of the wireframe mode. So our chair is done. Looks nice. If you want to make it thick, you can do that. The modify panel. Our thickness can be more. Okay. Now the legs. So I'll add mesh cylinder. Okay. And then the radius 0.05 we will need four of these so I'll go to top view view viewpoints top wireframe It will be somewhere here. Duplicate, place it here. Duplicate, place it here. Okay, so shift all. Control J to join them together. All right now, if you look at the legs, they are away from each other at an angle, they are thin here and thick here. This angle is less than this. So, what we'll do is we'll add lattice. Okay, so I'll go to view, viewpoint, top. We'll work with the lattice, select the lattice, scale it, view, viewpoint, front, scale it. Select this object, shift select the lattice, control P for parent and lattice deform. So now you can select this, select the lattice, view, viewpoint, let us try left. Okay, move it down. Make sure they are inside. Okay. The back one, select these two points. Go to modeling. Select these two points. And you can move them down. Alright. Mm -hmm. Select these look too tall. So we can make it short. Select this. Move back. Select the back two. Select the bottom ones and we can scale them out. Okay, 
so they're out now and then we can go to view viewpoint front select these ones move in the front select these ones move in the back all right so that is done so we got that profile for the front back on the sides now we'll apply that modifier select this apply get rid of the lattice And these need to be thinner so we can select each of these and scale them individually all are not getting selected so you need to go to wireframe mode select all scale inside Select all, scale inside, select inside, all, scale inside. Select all, scale inside. All right, so I'm doing this really fast, but you can try to make sure that all are same size okay